What's up everybody? Welcome to your third Photoshop project. And in this project we're going to be creating a nice planet and space looking photo. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we're in our background layer and go ahead into the black foreground color and grab your paint bucket tool. Now go ahead and paint your background black. This is going to give you a nice space looking background. Now Aside from this, right on your background layer, go up to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And make sure you're on Gaussian and Monochromatic and not Uniform. What this does right here, the noise, is add an amount of white speckles to your photo. Uh, go ahead and click somewhere between 9 and 11, then go ahead and click OK. What this is going to do is add a variation of white speckles and uh, give you the nice starry looking uh, look. So now that you have space with some stars in it, go ahead and create a new layer and this is going to be our planet. So to do that, go ahead up to the elliptical marquee tool and you can go ahead and make the shape of your planet. Now note if you just go ahead and start dragging, you can uh, make ovals with uh, your mouse and you don't want to do that what you want to do is hold down the shift key and this is going to make sure that you can create a perfect circle so once you do that create a perfect circle and this is going to be the shape of your planet let me go ahead and close it now once you have the shape of your planet go ahead back to your paint bucket tool and fill in your entire planet black now this is going to be the outline of your planet and I'll tell you why we do this later. The next thing we want to do is paint the texture and color on our planet. So go ahead and select the brush tool. Make sure you're on a nice fading. As you can see you don't want this hard edge right here. You want a nice fading edge. I'm going to use about 300. And go ahead and click the color you want. As you can see, I'm going with a nice, uh, like a light tan color, just because I think it will look good, like as a planet. And the last thing that you're going to want to do is go up to this uh, brush settings, and you're going to want to choose a texture. Make sure that none of these are uh, checked besides texture, and you're going to want to make it overlay and get a nice rock texture. So here's a nice rock texture right here. As you can see, you have a bunch preset, but I'm going to choose the rock one. And make sure you're on about anywhere from 60 to 70 scale. And make sure you're in overlay. So once you have that, you can start painting. As you can see, when you paint, it gives you a, a nice planet outline. Now I'm going to paint heavier in my top left side than my bottom right side because I want to give it the effect that it's kind of a light source is coming from here and it's uh, kind of shaded down there kind of like the planet earth does or any planet for that matter come to think of it alright so once you have that you can go ahead and we can start adding a glow around our planet so to do that let me get rid of this go up to layer and make sure you're on layer one instead of background now layer style and blend options now we're going to be working with outer glow and inner glow now for our outer glow make sure we have it checked and go ahead and click this what this is going to do is allow you to pick the colors for your outer glow I want mine to be a nice blue like that a nice light blue so I'm going to go ahead and click OK as you can see I have blue on this side white on this side and click these little tools right here to change the color so go ahead and click OK and I want my spread 0 and I want my size to be um, I'm gonna have mine about 20 right there and opacity about 60 and as you can see we now have a nice blue glow around our planet and for our inner glow usually you just want to leave this at default say your opacity to 75 and set your size to about 10 this is going to give you a nice glowing ring on the inside of your planet 
so once you have that click OK and as you can see now we have a nice glowing planet now we can either leave it from there let me move this more to the center now as you can see we can either leave that but I want to do a little something extra so usually what I do is go to my background and go to filter render lighting effect now I usually like to add a spotlight from the top left since remember we shaded in the bottom right to give it that little uh, how do you say uh, shadow effect well I like to add a spotlight so it looks like the lights coming from the top left now make sure your intensity is full and the focus is the one that you can kinda play around with I like mine kinda wide I'm gonna leave my net intensity 100 focus 78 don't worry about any of these now click OK and as you can see we night we now have a nice lighting effect it looks like there's some light source coming from the top left and if you want to do something even extra go up to filter render lens flare and you can add these cool star looking lens flares the 105 millimeter prime is probably the best one for the sun or the main lighting effect so go ahead and add that in the top left and I'm gonna make mine about 115 brightness now go ahead and click OK now as you can see we have a star light source and planet and I'm just gonna go ahead and add filter render lens flare I'm gonna go ahead and add a 50 millimeter uh, right about there and this is just for a background star just because it looks cool so now as you see we now have a full scale planet effect so thank you for watching my photoshop tutorial and i hope you learned something and there you can see the image overall and make sure that you're watching t these tutorials in high def it'll make a world of difference so again thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel